A lot of what drives me and strategic decisions in the business is a desire to really create strong, um, rewarding jobs for people in their own communities. This is the best place I've ever worked in regards to I really want to come in every day. I went on maternity leave for just one month and I just was eager to come back. <laughs> it's just a very exciting environment where Peter and Brennan always have something else. They're always two steps ahead. They uh, really look after their, uh, their, their employees. Um, I think just recently a whole bunch of people got brand new surfboards for their one year of service and I think that's a great thing, being a surfer. And uh, no, it's a lot of fun and hey, it's pretty cool to say that you work for a brewery. This is the place where I've felt the most valued and the most just like I've joined a family. Well, the, the standard that we set for ourselves in everything we do is that we want to be setting the standard in uh, not just Australian craft brewing, but the whole business of Australian craft brewing. So obviously it starts with our product, but then we, 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 we kind of hold ourselves to um, high standards in everything, whether it's uh, how we talk to people on the phone when they call the brewery, how we manage our customer relationships, how we manage our, our people. Um, it's, it's kind of the whole thing. And rejection we, letters. We, we, our rejection letters are love letters to people who didn't get the job. It's, we feel like every... Um, <laughs> I spend a long time writing those letters. Brennan used to say, what are you wasting your time doing that for? No, it's important. <laughs> and it is but, important. And yeah, then you get we get, I get letter. thank you letters for rejection letters. <laughs> that was the nicest rejection I've ever had. <laughs> thank you for that. Coming from a, a big brewery, it's a lot more relaxed here, a bit more of a, um, yeah, it's still a small business, so there's more of a one-on-one uh, -on -one interaction between Peter and Brennan, which, you know, is always handy, like Brennan's, Brennan's always on hand if you need a question, and you know, he's been doing this for 20 years, so he knows what he's talking about. They're both, you know, really on top of their game, so, they, you know, it makes it, a lot easier for us. They've won so many awards, they've come so far in six years. I like what they do for the community, charity wise. It should be fun and, and it, with the, there should be reward in it that isn't just driving a dollar profit bottom line. There's so much more you can get out of a business by putting different things into it. I started with Pete and Brennan back in uh, February of 2008. Um, the market was still very much a duopoly uh, and it still is today, however, uh, what has changed in the marketplace is um, is uh, is the consumers in terms of their palate um, and their understanding uh, about uh, freshness, um, uh, buying local, uh, preservative freeze, organic, understanding what beers can offer and how that can complement uh, their drinking occasion. There's a lot more craft bars and um, things like that that are starting to open up that are going exclusive craft and that sort of gives us one foot in the door. Um, you know, we've got seven very diverse beers and, and they can cater for, you know, the whole market that's out there at the moment. And over the past sort of 12 to 18 months, uh, we've, we've grown that seed and awareness through uh, key venues, um, similar to Pigs and Pints here. A few entrepreneurs that are just doing things a little bit different to, you know, probably the pub on the corner. We wanted to, you know, par great beers with really great pork dishes, our sliders, our grazing boards. and and allow the flavours to complement each other in a huge way and that's the sort of the dominating reason why we sort of love having Burley you know here because they've got such a vast array of, of different styled beers with, with great palate and, and you know such a broad flavour spectrum. It really does complement the food and to be sort of in line with uh, another company that have such passion for what they do and, and such drive to, uh, for excellence um, with everything they do. Um, so it's, it's a really great marriage. You're hearing a lot of um, key restaurateurs around Australia talking about the palate to the plate. So the word local um, is taking on an understanding of that it's gonna be fresh. And that's a really key important element to beer is, is that fresh beer is best beer. So if they can start turning the labels around and, and, and looking at a Burley Brewing beer and, and see it was, it was made within the last month or even the last week in some occasions, um, that's what local means. People would pop their heads in and, and ask us what we were doing. You know, obviously everyone loves, loves beer, so that's their first question. Oh, what beers have you got? And, uh, you know, and Burley was you know, our first answer and, and you know, the excitement on people's faces and, 
and they've always got their favourite. Oh, big head, big head, that's my, that's my favourite. Or my wife's bitter, that's my favourite. So it's so quickly becoming a household name, certainly here, you know, on the Gold Coast and, and, and further afield. And, um, I just, you, you know, you'd have to be proud of that. We have been lucky enough to get a lot of recognition. So, first of all, the beers have been recognised um, you know, on the world stage. Um, every beer that we've brewed so far has won a world championship medal of some colour, many of them gold. So that's a huge tick for the standards that we set, obviously, in the brewery. A lot of international um, competitions, gold medals, silver medals, things like that, uh, local. And we have also been fortunate um, over the last few years to um, be recognised in a business sense as well. Uh, we have um, won a number of Gold Coast Business Excellence Awards and certainly it was a huge highlight this year to be named the Telstra Queensland Business of the Year. When you do get recognition like that for the whole team, it is very motivating and inspiring to, to stay on the path we're on and keep doing what we're doing.